Hi, I'm Booker. Today we're at the Carpenter UN Fair. And I'm Dimitri. Let's go visit our first station. We're visiting Greece right now. Tell us about your stand. We are serving some honey yogurt and some olives because olives are a really big part of the Greek economy and um, the uh, agriculture. We also have stuffed grape leaves, which is a grape leaf and inside has different spices and um, rice. And then we've got some little Greek cookies. I'm Devlin from the DBD crew. Tell us about what you're going to be doing today. Oh, well, we're going to be playing Japanese taiko drums. We're called Akaoni Daiko, which means red demon drummers in Japanese. So we, have, we want to have that kind of power and energy when we play the Japanese taiko. Could you tell us a little bit about your country? Yes, so I'm French Canadian and people tend to forget that that's the second language in Canada. And also I grew up in Toronto, Ontario, which is very French Canadian. We're also well known for maple syrup and especially in Quebec, they put hot maple syrup on snow and they make lollipops. So that's a fun treat. My favorite thing about Canada is being able to play hockey and go to hockey games. Could you tell us a little bit about your country? Well, it's in South America. We are known for our soccer, tango, dulce de leche, super yummy food, a lot of Italian uh, culture in Argentina. Most Argentinians either come from Italy or Spain. There was a lot of immigration. Um, the native Argentinians are known as the gauchos. You might have seen them. They walk around um, in the plains and they have these long blankets and they herded all the cows. Could you tell us a little bit about your instrument? Oh, this is a Chinese instrument called Gujin, and um, it was created 5,000 years ago, and I'm still playing it right now. It has 21 chords, and each segment like this is a separate, it'll repeat. So that's that. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about, about your country? A couple of things about Russia. It's uh, still, I think it's still the biggest, the biggest country in the world. It's mostly a lot of the Russian foods is the foods that can uh, stay fresh in the winter. So we have a lot of salted vegetables, like pickled vegetables. We have Russian crepes uh, that Russia is famous for, crepes and uh, caviar. I'm Booker from the DBD crew. May you please tell us um, some facts about your country? Okay, so this is the Swedish table. Sweden actually still has a king and a queen. Yes, but they're more like ambassadors to the country. Uh, everybody knows Vikings. So we're famous for meatballs and we're actually serving it here. We're also known for pickled herring and smoked salmon. I'm from New Zealand, which is at the very bottom of the South Pacific, about three hours east from Australia. We are a new country, only about, not even 200 years old. We have loads of important, famous people. What foods are your country famous for? Our country is famous for lamingtons, lamb, meat pies, Afghan cookies, sausage rolls, asparagus rolls, which is just asparagus wrapped in bread. Hi, Armenia is part of Europe. Pomegranate is our fruit of our country. And our flag has red, blue, and orange. Red is for the blood uh, spilled, and the blue is uh, meant for the sky, and the orange is for the ground. Our most popular food, which we're serving today, is the Armenian pizza, which is called Lamajun. And then we also have an Armenian cookie, which has like little sesame, and it's not very sweet, and that's called chorek. This is the Great Britain stand, and the capital of Great Britain is London. Our queen is called Queen Elizabeth II, and we have a monarchy and a royal family. The weather is cold. We drink a lot of tea. This is a tea sculpture of all our different tea brands. And we eat fish and chips and scones, and I sound like this. So I, I have the same language as you, but a different accent. Guatemala is a diversity country that we have all kind of people. We have just like a different um, regions. 
We are famous for the coffee. Starbucks actually sells our coffee. Korea is a peninsula between Japan and China, and we have a 5,000 years of history, and we have an awesome culture, beautiful sceneries, and the poor Korea citizens. And also we have a beautiful clothes, and also beautiful manner in 5,000 years of history. So come to the Korea and visit us! Hope you had a good time at the Carpenter UN Fair. I'm Booker. I'm Devlin. And I'm Dimitri.